hey guys welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial i will be taking this image from this to this oh, oh, oh. you know oh, that no. that moment when you want to use a particular picture for a design but it comes with too many studio lights on different parts of the skin on the body and stuff and it's giving you problem to match up that image to the main background you are working with this tutorial will save you that whole stress and headache so guys join me to the crazy ride to the world of photoshop hello friends and welcome to today's tutorial my name is bright and i'm always happy to be your tutor in this channel so in this in today's tutorial we'll be moving this image from this guy to this guy now this is a simple trick and technique on photoshop but too many people have struggled with this so i've gotten too many messages on my dm asking me for a tutorial like this so guys i'm granting your requests so just watch this tutorial to the end and follow each of the steps very carefully and trust me you get it it's as easy as that so let's get right into it so step one guys we open the image which is very obvious <laughs> so we go to file we click open and we open the image then right click and duplicate that layer so we have two layers so for step two because this image has a background a yellow background we'll select the image so that's step two select the image so go to um, magic one two then we'll click on select subject so photoshop ai can do the magic for us now the reason why we are selecting this image is so that when we start to brush over it we don't get colors from the background or we don't get the background stained with colors so that's the reason for selecting so after selecting like this the next thing you ought to do is to click Ctrl plus H to hide the matching ants for selection. So Ctrl plus H, H for horse, H for hide. <laughs> okay, so it's hidden, but the selection is still there. So if you press Ctrl plus H, it shows again. So it's still there. We only hid it. Now for step two, we create a new layer clicking on the create new layer icon uh, which is very obvious then you also right click on the layer and click create clipping mark so whatever thing we are doing it only gets applied to the underneath layer so that's why we are clipping it to it all right then we change the blend mode to color and now you ask me why color because we want to get rid of these colors from our skin so that's why we are using the blend mode called colors or color rather makes sense yes so for step four we pick the clone stamp to this guy right here so either you click this guy or you press s on your keyboard that's a shortcut for it s on your keyboard so once you click the sto um, clone stamp to you have these options here on your property bar so come to this one where it has the sample then you click on the drop down yours might be on current layer please remove it and click on current and below why it simply means whatsoever thing i'm doing here it affects the current layer I'm working on which is called layer 1 and it affects the underneath layer which is the below layer so that's why it's called current and below so let's just rename rename this guy to color and rename this guy to image so whatever thing I'm working on affects the color layer and affects the image layer for step 5 which is the final step we brush all the way <laughs> But trust me, it's not as easy as you think, but it's also easy. So just watch as I show you guys how to do this. Watch very closely and carefully. Okay, now stay on my close stamp too. Please take your opacity to 70, it's very fine, and 55 is very fine. Then also make sure that your hardness is on 0%. Don't keep it on 100, it gets your work all wonky. So keep it on. Oh, I think that's right. It gets your work all wonky. <laughs> so give it on 100% or at, at 0%. Zero, zero. All right. So the technique behind this is this. The way you use close stamp to is you sample a particular layer, then you replace another layer with the layer you sampled. 
Now, what I mean is this you sample a layer holding alt on your keyboard. So, once you hold alt, the, the cursor of the mouse changes to this target sign that hey, you want to pick a particular layer. So, what we are actually doing now because our blend mode is on color, we are actually picking the layer's color. You get the trick now. So, we are not picking the layer element or texture or whatsoever. We are only picking the layer color. So, when we pick this place where we have ebony or brown or chocolate, whichever you call the skin color. So, we pick this color and we replace it with where we have the blue. Now, watch. I hold Alt to pick over here. Over here, very close to where I want to get rid of. Then, once I pick that color, you see my my cushion now has that particular thing I have picked so I come to this place where I have the blue and I paint over it like this as simple as that so it's very advisable to reduce your the size of your clone stamp brush right now in case you want to target tiny areas and you could also do yourself a, a favor by zooming in so I zoom in with Control plus plus on my keyboard Control plus plus so the zoom out to Control plus minus okay so I could um, still hold here and pick and shade around here. So that's what I keep doing. Now that's the reason why we why we selected just the image before now because see I could click here and click outside. Nothing is showing because we are only working around the selected part of the image. So that's the trick behind it. Always make sure you select your image off the background if you have a background. But if there's no background cool you could just continue running like that okay let me hide that guy back and alt paint alt to click remove your hand from alt and paint so for the hair side alt to click around this black side and remove your hand from alt and paint like that like that like that like that now as usual the the the, the, the good habits the great habits we learned in this channel is to always save so i'll control s and say whatever thing I've done now, then I continue working. So I just cut this, remove light, image. Alright? So I can continue working. So I won't speed up the video, so I because I want every one of us to actually get what I'm doing. Because I could actually speed up the video and just quickly do stops and wow, I'm done and we're all happy. No. So I want to remove the red around here. So I pick around this place where we have some dark tones yes and just brush over there so if you are actually working on a client's project please be very careful don't be like me right now that i'm just quickly brushing so if it's a client project be very careful how you handle this so you don't get stops um terrible do you get me yeah very important okay so around the ear we are still having some red light so i could pick i could reduce the brush a little and pick around this point and brush over so remember you pick with alt then once you are done picking you move your hand from alt and brush on so you keep brushing till you get this girl looking without the color <laughs> okay so around this side now i could just pick and um get this girl let this cleaner than before so to tackle here yeah, since i'm not having um chocolate color around there, i could come pick around here and get that guy fixed like that you get it you get it if you don't get it do not forget about it rewind the video and start from where you missed it <laughs> you get all right that's cool so in case i really need to get around this point very well so i could um still come and pick around there and stuff like that i have no control z uh, around here so let's be close to where you are so you don't get stops looking uneven you get so everything must be close so for the lips i could pick around the lips and shade the lips the top lips i pick around the top lips and shade the lips so it looks even you get it now so it's very important the problem you could have is when you pick far from the color tone you want to play with it becomes an issue so i think i'm almost um, done with the face because 
it's just to show you the the work yes so let me just quickly do the hand brush very large brush 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 so as i said earlier pick with art and remove your hand from art when you have picked your color then brush off that part like that like this one art brush art brush oh my god there are some images you work with it can get you worked <laughs> uh, okay so we could still go much uh, so we could still go much crazy and also what's wrong with you okay so we could still go much crazy to get rid of this side so the trick behind there is we could probably pick the color from here since it's the same um um clothes is wearing so we could pick here and so this one may not be as easy as that but you just have to be careful so if you get it spoiled you just do ctrl z and get so stuff like that you could not get bothered about it you could just avoid it and just work with it so when you are using it on a design or if it's just a picture you know it's all good to go okay that's looking very nice so just a little edit around here and a little edit and so let's check before so this was before and this after before and after for the last time before and after wow so note once you are done brushing every of this thing please and please do not forget that we still have the matching ant <laughs> so what you have to do the moment you are done use ctrl d to deselect so it removes the matching ant totally ctrl d d for dog d for deselect so you remove the matching ant if not if you want to move the picture you want to put it somewhere it just pulls out the, the picture and leaves the background probably you need the background i'm just saying so always remember that that matching ant is around the edges of the picture until you press ctrl d to deselect you get the point now so guys with that we are done with today's tutorial straight to the point quick technique on photoshop um i believe you enjoyed today's tutorial just give us a like drop a comment if you have any questions drop it on the comment section i will reply you as soon as possible also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the subscription um uh, the bell icon close to the subscription button so you'll be notified when i post tutorials like this in the future tricks and tips with photoshop see you guys in the next tutorial and happy designing